Can you believe that Christmas is in four days? Where did this year go? And what are you getting for Christmas that's gadget related? Do you want to know what I'm getting? Stay tuned. Well, I have to tell you that I'm not getting anything from Santa this year. I have to buy my own gadget presents because everybody's afraid to buy me anything because they think I already have it or that I won't like it. And I do get a lot of stuff, right? As a gadgeteer, I am very, very fortunate. Thank you for all the viewers out there that help with that. But when it comes to Christmas, I buy stuff for myself. And this year I have three things that I have decided to gift myself. The first thing is something that I hope will help make my video podcast that much better. And that is a dedicated camera. For these past 10 episodes, this is episode 11, I have been using my iPhone 13 Pro Max. Yeah, I didn't upgrade to the 14 yet um, for various reasons. If you want to know why, ask in the comments below and I'll tell you. I use my iPhone for all my product shots, for regular day-to-day -day shots, and for these videos. And I've decided it's time to get a dedicated camera. And the one that I've decided to go with is the Sony ZV-E10. I'm excited to learn the ins and outs of this camera. And I hope that it will make these videos look a little bit more professional or maybe I'm the one that needs to be a little bit more professional I don't know what do you guys think and the second gadget that I'm buying for myself is an Amazon Echo Studio I already have three echoes in the house one is in my up upstairs as we call it which is the craft area where I do some of my crafting and if you want to know more about that let me know. Maybe I'll make a podcast about it. And then another one is in the bathroom, so you can listen to music while you're taking a shower. And then there's also one in the bedroom. I want one for the main living room kitchen area so that we can listen to music. And we've moved one of the ones, like the one in the bathroom, out to the kitchen area. And the previous models, not the round ones, but the the more hockey puck shaped ones that that is the amazon echoes that we have in the house they just don't sound very good when you get them into a big area the big room so i thought i'm just going to splurge and buy myself an amazon echo studio so i'm anxious to see how that's going to sound and it's supposed to arrive today actually and then for the third gadget that i'm going to buy for myself i'm still on the fence about that one of my ideas and I need to hurry up and figure it out, right? One of my ideas is to get the latest Apple Watch. I have a Series 6. So, and the latest, epi latest episode? The latest series that came out this year is the 8. I'm thinking about giving this one to Jeannie because she has a Series 2 and it keeps complaining that, she, that there's not enough space on the watch no matter what i do to try to to fix that um, it's still saying that and it when it has that error she's not getting any text message notifications so she's been complaining so i'm thinking i'm going to give her this one because she always gets my hand-me-downs and then i'm going to get the latest not the ultra but just the series eight the ultra is probably way too big for my wrist so those are the three gadget gifts that I'm going to give myself this year. And I want to know what gadgets that you've asked for from Santa or your family. And what are you looking forward to in the new year? I wish everybody a very, very happy holidays. Enjoy time with your families. And I will see you back in 2023. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm not sure why she's talking to me. Siri, what's up? But anyway, Merry Christmas and see you next year.